Hello friends, in this lecture, we are going to design a DFA for a binary number that is divisible by 5. So the DFA should accept binary numbers that are divisible by 5. So how to proceed about this? So again, any number is of the form, any natural number or whole number is of the form. 5m, 5m plus 1, 5m plus 2, 5m plus 3, and 5m plus 4. So these are the forms of the numbers, okay? So it can be 5m, the remainder is 0, exactly divisible. Remainder is 1 when 1 divided by 5, remainder is 2, remainder is 3, remainder is 4. So these are our five states that when we get a binary number, so it is either divisible by five, either then it leaves a remainder one, leaves remainder two, and divided by five leaves remainder three or four. Now these are the states, but how the transition happens? So start state, let's say we are here. Now how to draw the transition? What happens? So when we get and now again I said that when you have some number, okay, so when I have some number like 1, 1, 0, 0, okay, I have seen till here and if I add something here, okay, so this value is what? 2 to the power of 0, 1, 2, 3. So 2 cube plus 2 square, 8 plus 4, 12. Now if I add here a 0, what will happen? this will become 2 to the power of 4 16 and plus 8 so 24 so it's doubled so i because i left shifted i saw a new number here on the right so i replaced everything on the left and added this number so there is a left shift left shift by 1 means multiplication of the number by 2 so this is multiplied by 2 left shift and here a zero comes so then it's just multiplied by 2 and if a 1 comes, it is basically multiplied by 2 and adding 1. So this is the basic idea. So now if the number is 5m, so if I get a 0 here in the end, then it will be multiplied by 2, so 10m. So in 0 it will be 10m, so it will remain, it is also divisible by 5, it will remain here. But what will happen if it is i add a 1 so it's a 1 in the end not a 0 so it is 10 m plus 1 on 1 so it is 10 m is divisible by 5 1 is the remainder so i get here what happens if we have a number which is of the form 5 m plus 1 and we now add a 0 or a 1 so let's so it is multiplied by 2 twice 5 m plus 1 so it becomes 10m plus 2. Now if I get a 0, then nothing is added. So it is 10m plus 2 is of the form 5m plus 2. So on 0, I come to 5m plus 2. But if I get a 1, then 1 will be added. So it is 10m plus 2 plus 1. So 10m plus 3, which is of the form. So it's divisible by, it leaves remainder 3. So it goes to, so 5m plus 2. So when a 0 comes, it remains here. What is happening? So 10m plus 2. So if a 0 comes, so it will remain here. So it is of the form 5m plus 2. So it will remain here. If a 1 comes, it will go to 5m plus 3. So now what will happen? Okay, so sorry. So this is 5m plus 1, so 0 comes, okay, so this is something wrong what I did. So 5m plus 1, so we multiplied, so what happens? So 10m plus 2, if a 0 comes, it will go to 10, 5m plus 2 form. If a 1 comes, it will go to, it leaves a remainder 3, so it will go here. 
okay now i am in 5m plus 2 so if i get a 0 or a 1 first thing is left shift so it is multiplied 10m plus 4 so if you get a 0 it will be of the form 5m plus 4 so it goes here on a 0 and if you have a 1 here so a 1 will be added to 10m plus 4 it becomes 10m plus 5 which will remain leave a remainder 0 so 5m plus 2 on seeing a 1 it will go here so it is 1 so it will become 10m plus 5 which is divisible by 5 leaves no remainder now we come to 5m plus 3 if 0 or 1 is added it's left shifted so 10m plus 6 okay so it is basically 10m plus 5 plus 1 1 is the remainder so if you see a 0 it is of the form it's 5m plus 1 so 5m plus 3 on seeing a 0 it comes here and if I get a 1, so it will become 10m plus 5 plus 1 plus 1, so 2. So it will go to 5m plus on seeing a 1. Now let's try to see 5m plus 4. On getting a 0 or 1, left shift. So 5m plus 4. So 10m plus 8, which is 10m plus 5 plus 3. So on seeing a 0, it will go to 5m plus 3. And if we see a 1, it is 10m plus 5 plus 3 plus 1, so 4. It is of the form 5m plus 4. So on seeing a 1, it remains here on seeing a 1. So this is our transition function, the automata. Now what happens? So let's try to see if it is really working. So let's try to see so let's say 25 is it what is the binary so it is 16 plus 8 plus 1 so it is 1 1 0 0 1 so i have let's call these states q0 q1 q2 q3 q4 so q0 we see a 1 so i come to q1 i see a 1 1 here means where i'm going to q3 and then i see a 0 at q3 okay so where is a 0 going to q1 and then 110 again a 0 on q1 if i see a 0 i go to q2 and q2 i see a 1 so i go to q0 and divisible by 5 means this is the final state so 25 is acceptable so now you can understand that what is how to construct dfas for finding accepting string divisible by 3, 5, for whatever you like. So you can even do it for any number n. Okay. So you just write. So if we extend this problem. So what will happen n? If you are doing it for n. So we will have states. How many? So it will be. So n into m plus 0 n into m plus 1 n into m plus 2 till n into m plus n minus 1 these are the states so there will be n states and then you have to for these n states you have to draw the transitions okay another variant can be so next variant can be like there was a shift to shift what happens if it is a i have alphabet so it is not a binary number but let's say it is 0 1 2 3 so it is to the base 4 some number to the base 4 where i can have 0 1 2 3 so in that case what happens what will happen 
so now when i receive a new number so it will be left shift by one means multiplication by four so these are some of the ideas so but the basic thing about dff of binary number divisible by five is this is the state the finite automata for this one okay dfa so i hope you understand this thanks a lot